Well, if you've been vegetable shopping lately, you'll have seen the shelves have been uh, tickle pink as rhubarb season has arrived. Juliet series here now to show us how to use those pink stalks to create a delicious dessert. It's an acquired taste. It is a bit of a marmite one, isn't it? Cause it's quite sour bit. and tart. Yes. Um, and I, I love it in this cake. I mean, yeah, if it's you want to get used to it, you might not want to crumble because it's kind of really intense with just all the rhubarb and the crumble on top. So this is kind of a gentler version because you're baking that into the sponge. Right, OK. Um, so we're going to start off with the rhubarb. So what you want to do, first of all, is just add some sugar, some orange zest, and then the juice of half an orange. Mm -hmm. So do that before you start doing anything else. Give it a stir and then just set it aside to macerate. And what that's going to do, it's going to really sort of like bring out the flavour, make it a bit sweeter. Just set that aside. For how long? Um, 15 minutes is fine just while you're getting the rest of the cake ready. So at that point, I would like get my tins ready and then get on with the, the bits and pieces and then it'll be ready. So it's not, a long, not too long to wait. Um, so in my bowl here, I've got some butter and sugar, which I've just creamed until it's really pale and fluffy. All good cakes start with that. And then we're just going to add the... Let's turn this one on. There we go. So we're going to add eggs now, four eggs, just one at a time into the mixture. But, I mean, I, I love... Do you like rhubarb? I do. No, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I do. No, I do. I Honest, no, I do. I do. I do. It's not a go-to for me. I yeah. mean, it's, uh, I would. I think the last time I probably had rhubarb was on here. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's like a treat every so often. Yeah. Um, it's... But it's. But it's only because there are other things I would probably go for. Fair enough. Like apples and apple crumble or. Yeah. Well, do you know what? You could actually. Um... If you don't like rhubarb, even though there's loads of it around, you could just swap the rhubarb for some chunks of apple and yeah. make this cake. Yeah. Apple no, the, I know this is going to be incredible. Yeah. You're, you're, everything you make <laughs> is absolutely gorgeous. In fact, that's what I'm going to do now. You I'm, have go a taste. I'm, I'm, I'm going in. Right, OK. So don't worry if the um, mixture looks quite um, chunky at this point. Right, just try not to uh, splash this all over myself. Um, if it's a bit curdled, don't worry. We're going to add the dry ingredients. So I've got some flour and a little bit of extra baking powder for lift, and that's just 200 grams there, and that's just going to go in, just all in one. What do you think? It's gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's lovely, isn't it? It's really kind of like a, a gentle flavour. And with the cake, obviously, this the, I wasn't sure when I was making this whether I'd sort of like roast the rhubarb first, but then it can make it a bit too sweet, so with it being put into the cake raw, yeah. it it's, cooks it really gently. Yeah. yeah. And Holly would absolutely love that icing inside that. Um, Do you that think filling. so? Because she, yeah, she, no. she doesn't like custard, but well, she's. Yeah, I don't think this is. I think this is more like a butter icing. It's more buttercream, yeah. We've given her a little little slice to take on her merry journey. So hopefully she'll enjoy that. In on the, the car. back of a motorbike. <laughs> yeah. Um, right. So once you've got the batter done, it's time to bring up the lovely juicy rhubarb. You see, it's kind of like really macerated. I mean, that would have been a miracle if that was what you actually put under <laughs> that, there. But you've got it, another one under there. I've got an, here's one I, I macerated that's earlier. Quick maceration, that is. <laughs> but literally, you know, it doesn't take long and it really becomes juicy. And don't worry about all of that liquid there. Um, it just bakes so perfectly. So you just want to fold that through like that. Oh, God, just, just don't wear white when you're doing this. <laughs> We've got Rhubarb this morning juice. apron in one of those oh, 12 at 12 things. In fact, we opened it up. <laughs> it was behind number seven, oh, wasn't it? <laughs> should, have, should have thought of that before I started. So, yeah, it's quite a loose mixture here. And then what you want to do is just um, divide it in between your two tins. Mm. But, so, it does look quite a wet batter and just get it roughly equal. But it bakes, as you can see, it bakes really well. Mm -hmm. The difference with this um, sponge mixture... It does... It, it looks, It looks. as you said, don't worry about it splitting. It does look a bit splitty, Yeah, it looks it? a bit splitty, but it, once it bakes, it'll be absolutely perfect. Um, it's just with all the sort of juice in there. And then, so, obviously, it is a little bit moist, but what we're going to do is add the, the crumble topping to it now. And right. that really kind of helps to um, add... sort of, like, dry it out a bit. But you keep keeps it nice and moist underneath, but goes nice and crunchy on top. Okay. So I've got my crumble ingredients. I've got really cold butter in there, which I've just rubbed between my fingers, and some plain flour. And then you add some sugar. So that's just a regular crumble mixture. And in our family, like 
So being fair, I'm not a huge fan of crumble myself. I don't like loads and loads of hot fruit, but I love this cake. Why but... the hell are we making this? <laughs> well, no, I, my, it's my, my family's favourite thing. Like, my, we always have the crumble battle when it comes out the oven. Like, the best bit for my kids is, like, fighting over the big um, clumps of crumble on top. Yes. So you get that on this cake. I, lo I actually really like I like crumble. the crumble, but I don't like I too that. much hot, f like, fruit. Oh, see, I like the hot fruit Do you? Well. Do you? Yeah. This is like like a winner because it, it you know it's, it's got something for everyone. Yes. So I'm just going to put that all over the top. So just divide it in between the two layers, and you can kind of like like really crumble it up so you get some big chunks on there. So you get lots of different textures. That's all lo lovely and knobbly, like, right. a, like a crumble should be. There we go. And then that just bakes on um, on 170. So I'll just pop that in the oven. For about, so you will find this is this will take about 30 35 minutes, so a bit longer than a classic sponge because you have got all of that fruit in there. Um, so it just needs a little bit longer, right? On to the frosting. We've got Saran Jones here, and she's actually on the <gasps> You've sofa got some. with some. I mean, you're not the biggest fan of rhubarb either, are you? I'm not. But my husband said, just try it, you might like it, and it's really nice. Oh, ah, good. I'm glad you There it. we you go. You have to take a slice back for your husband. I will. We'll I will. It's you delicious. On us. Yeah. <laughs> See you in a minute. See you in a bit. So, the, the, so this is so the fillings. It's kind of like a layer cake. We've got a classic buttercream. Mm -hmm. But to the buttercream, I've added some custard powder. And once that's in, you just add a bit of boiling water to get it to a nice pipeable consistency. Now, if you, do you want to have a go? Because you're, you're quite good at a bit of piping, aren't you? Oh. <sighs> <laughs> you just do this to show me up, don't you? Okay. You're an expert. Which one am I doing? Sure we'll do it together. So you just oh, okay. um, hold the bag vertically. Yeah. Just give a, squeeze a blob. Stop squeezing oh, and pull away mic. like that. There we go. And you can do quite generous, like quite a big blob, look. That's it. And you build it up like this. And it looks really lovely when you kind of put the top on. That's it. You can just use a palette knife and just spread it on if you want to. Oh, but... Should we pretend we've done the whole thing? We can do. You can just do this. <laughs> Only people only see the edge bit, don't they? <laughs> okay. And then on goes the top. Yep. Thank you. Look at that. There we go. And that's it. Simple as that. So you've got all of those elements in there. Gorgeous sponge, rhubarb, crumble, custards. Well done. Thank you. Perfectly done and really very, very tasty. Thank um, you. For details of today's recipe and more delicious ideas from all of our incredible chefs, download the free This Morning app.